Roberts leading off against Miguel Batista. Chopper to Junior Spivey. Dave Roberts, he's hustling dives. They say don't do that, but he beats the throw. Two batters later, Sean Green, one on, one out. Dead center field, and Sean Green continues to pound whoever he faces. Two nothing, Tony Gwynn. Some thoughts, please. For the Dodgers, putting runs on the board in the first inning is a huge thing for them. They've shut out the Diamondbacks in the last two games. Sean Green hits the first pitch he sees out of the ballpark to give the Dodgers a 2-0 lead. That puts the, pressures on, puts the pressure on the Diamondbacks. So far, so good. Top second, Andy Ashby, the pitcher. Pitchers have been clubbing the ball as well, and he rips Miguel Batista in the left. Alex Cora comes in to score, beating the throw easily. 3-0. Dodgers pitching, continuing to hit well. Bottom second, same score. Dave DeLucci up, one on, one out. Are they finally going to have a run? They have set a record, well, tied a record for Arizona's scoreless futility. 23 consecutive zeros on the board. Rod Barajas, a fly to left. Somebody's going to tap the plate. 3-1 L.A. Zona's first run of the series. Hard to win when you don't score. In fact, it's, it's impossible. Haven't figured out a way to win if you don't score. Bottom six, Quint McCracken facing Guillermo Mota. Pop foul. Paul LaDuca. Paul LaDuca. Not an all-star. I think he is. One more time. Into your living room, and it's still an out. Bottom eight, though. Two on for the D-backs. Eric Gagne, this guy has been lights out. Comes in to hold the lead, but Quentin McCracken, an 0-2 pitch into the right field corner. Oh, that's trouble. Both men come around to score that were on base. It's 4-3 D-backs. Only Gagne's second blown save all year. Breaks a string of 20 consecutive converted saves. And BK Kim allows a hit in the ninth, but the D-backs hold on to win. Two innings pitched, only allowed one Hit did the D-Packs bullpen. Quentin McCracken, you saw those big two RBIs. He's hitting 343. Dodgers lead now cut to two and a half out west. Yes, I, I thought I, you, frankly a lot. I thought you probably considered that for a while. Juan Pierre leading off, laying down a uh, bunt. Oh, a sparkling play by Tori Alba. Aurora Tori Savala. There you go. Jason, Nebula. Jason Jennings against Tori Alba. Smokes one to third. Todd Zeal diving stop. Good play. There is uh, more than one star out there, so I'm told. Hernandez now leave on facing Larry Walker, and Walker is paddling a little behind. His 20th. Rockies up 6-1. Jennings now against Torrealba. Torrealba skying one to left, and uh -oh. hey, you betcha. Heavenly body in its own right. His second of the year. He was two for three in this game. He's got that average up over 300 now. It's ethereal, even. Jennings against Rich Aurelia. That sounds somewhat like it as well. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I think so. 14 to 4. The Rockies finished this thing off. Walker got four hits, the second four hit game of the season, both coming since last Sunday. Takes over the National League lead with a 350 average. Todd Helton's not far behind. He had a couple of hits in this one. It's hitting 346. Reese, the stars around the Astros and Reds, I want to tell you. Boy, I want to tell you. Roy, Don't need to tell us to see that. No. Chris Reitzma, though, pitcher to Craig Biggio. That's excellent. 4-6-3 double play. Biggio also broke out in the series with a bat. He went 8 for 14 at the dish. Here, he just sort of dinks one out to Chris Reitzma. Whoopsie! He falls down over the ball. Brad Austin scores. We're tied up at one. Two batters later. Jeff Bagwell. He just clubs it. Jumps out of his shoes to do so. A three-run homer. His 13th of the season. Strows up five to one. Top four. The sack bunt artiste. Troy Oswalt. We flash back to earlier in the game. Top three. Oswalt successfully bunted for a single to load the bases and set up that five-run inning. Now we come back to the future. Adam Dunn and Aaron Boone. Oh, we're up. We know what you're up to, Roy. And Roy, oh, he flips the script and swings at it. He knocks it out into right, and the bases are loaded. The next batter, Julio Lugo, rounds to Barry Larkin, who flips to Todd Walker. That's all right. And then, whee! Ball goes sailing. Jeff Blum, Brad Austin has come in, and the Astros are up 7-2, and they're not done. Luke Hudson now facing Jeff Bagwell. Bagwell, shoulder surgery in October, so that usually takes me a while to come around. I'd say he's come around. Six for 13 in this series. Second home run of the game. The Strohs going to win it. Houston's won five of six. Oswalt not sparkling, but good enough to run his record versus Cincy to four and oh. Chris Reisma falls to 0-7 oh in his last eight starts. He's 0-4 oh against Houston. The Reds have dropped nine of 10 at home. So the Cardinals hoping to take advantage against the Padres. Top two, no score. Ron Gant against Jason Simon Tachi and 
National League Rookie of the Month. Can't have his catcher hang on to that one. Would have been strike three. Matheny, tough play to ask him to hold it, but Gant takes advantage of the extra strike. Solo shot number seven of the year for Ronnie. Padres up by a count of one nothing. Later in the second, two men on, nobody out. Wiki Gonzalez. Wiki. Pokes one out there to right. Eli Marrero loading up and firing. Blankford gonna try to score, and that turns out to be a severe tactical error. He is toast. Bottom four, Tino against Brian Lawrence, and Tino. Two-run shot is 10th of the year. Cardinals take a 2-1 lead. Bottom of the sixth, still 2-1. Jim Edmonds at the plate. Edmonds a little duck snort out there, and the former Cardinal, Ray Lankford. From the dead run, making the nice grab. Ray appears to be shaken up. You take another peek at this thing, and Lankford comes up with a gimpy right hamstring. He'll be placed on the 15-day disabled list and placed on a cart. Can we get Ray to the trainer's table, please? By the time he gets to the trainer's room, he might be healthy. Card involved in a little racing deal there. Yeah. 4-1, the Great. Cardinals Great. finish. Yeah, you can blow a crew pushing that cart. <laughs> Take a look at the eight in a row. Very similar run to eight wins in a row from a year ago. And as I said, Washburn, a year ago, right now, he is absolutely on top of his game. Strikes out Jose Leon. Top three. Chris Singleton swings and misses. Next batter, Melvin Mora. Got to swing the bat. Washburn, strong like vinegar. Top of the fifth, Washburn facing Mike Portick. Runners on second and third. Long fly ball to center field. Now, Marty Cordova appears to reach home safely on the sack fly, but Darren Erstad gets Jose Leon at third before Cordova reaches home. Mike Hargrove comes out to argue with the umpire. Let's look at what we've got here. There's the plate. There's the tag. That's bang, bang. Marty Cordova still cannot believe it. Bottom of the eighth. Scott Erickson, meanwhile, he is the hard luck loser in this one because in the bottom of the eighth, finally, Mike Bordick with a dazzling play. Rob... David Eckstein, but still we've got a man in scoring position. It's Jose Nieves. And Tony Batista cannot make the play. Run comes in to score, and that was the game winner. Scott Erickson. He has gone 12 starts in a row without a win. Jared Washburn improves to 9-0. 2.75 ERA in his last 14 starts. Erickson, a complete game, four-hitter. Couldn't have thrown much better than this. Angels have won 22 of 30 at home. Mariners, Joel Pinheiro looking for his fifth straight. Not quite up to Washburn's level, but hey, he's pitching well. Carlos Beltran here, and Brett Boone got his back with a backhand. Bottom three, Miguel Asensio facing John Olerud with one on. Olerud with a chopper off Luis Alisea's glove. Ichido, he's running, and he'll score easily. 1-0 ends. Joel Pinheiro facing Mike Sweeney. Sweeney as hot as anybody in baseball, and oh, he goes down hard. Looks like he's hit. It's hit on the right hand. Hate to see that happen, especially given the way he's playing, helping his team play a little bit better. Sweeney would leave the game, nods at Pinheiro, says, hey, I know it wasn't intentional. At least he didn't charge him too much of that in the game today. Oh, but then Brett Boone, you know, he's gonna, he's smiling. Boone's one of those guys that lifts all the time, and if he fought, she'd be in trouble. We have uh, warnings going out to both sides. Pinero, though, cruising. No more retaliation. Just strikes out Raul Ibanez. And then pass to Saki, who's been having problems of late. No problems here. Strikeout to end the ball game. Pinero, he's got those five wins in a row. Eight innings pitched. Only two hits. Sasaki, two Ks in the ninth for his 19th save after a rough outing on Tuesday. Mike Cameron, three for three. Joe Randa and Raul Ibanez, the only men who had hits for the Royals, shut out, shut out for the second time in the series. Twins and the A's look chilly in Oakland. They break out the heater. Mark Mulder hoping to do the same thing, but Corey Koski smokes it back up the middle for a single, or at least it should have been. Terrence Long, he, he's cadillac He maybe even lollygagging, or maybe the ball just died in the grass. At any rate, Koski hustled in there to second. He was two for four on the night, and it certainly paid off. And get on Long about this. This is certainly going to make him feel worse. Bobby Kelty down the line. Koski only has to score from second. Kelty's 27th RBI, and we're tied at one. Doug Minkiewicz now standing in. Lefty on lefty. Minkiewicz sort of hits it off his cuticles, but Kelty would score. Twins take a 2-1 lead. Top five, nobody out. Koski going to back up. Mark Ellis sees this. Drop down the bunt. Koski, no chance, right? I think we've seen Koski's a hustler. Nice defensive play. 
hustle helps the Twins to a 2-1 victory. They take the series. This is perhaps their most important road trip of the season, going to Oakland, then to Seattle. Gilan Santana, supernatural, six and a third. He struck out eight. He improves to 4-1 on the season. Mulder struck out 12. Brian Kenny and Rob Dibble back here on baseball tonight. We'll go to the Devil Rays and the Rangers. Game time temperature, 85 degrees. Could be a lot worse out there. Ranger fans getting ready for the holiday. Rafael Palmero with two men aboard, lighting it up on Paul Wilson. Juan Gonzalez will score there. 506 career doubles for Rafael Palmero. Ties him with Babe Ruth. Oh. Pudge Rodriguez, speaking of milestones here, 200 career home runs. Makes it a 4 nothing ball game. That's 4 nothing in the second, two on the other way. A-Rod celebrates for Pudge Rodriguez. John Flaherty here. Snap throw. Pudge Rodriguez gets David McCarty. No, don't get caught sleeping when Pudge is snapping that throw to first. It's Chris Gomez in the ninth. It's 5-3 Rangers. Hideki Arabu is on. Fly ball left center. Kevin Mensch and Carl Everett are out there. And oh, no! Oh, oh man. I got it. You take it. Wow. Oh. Inexplicable. <laughs> Later in the ninth, it's 5-4. Arabu is still on. Steve Cox. Base hit. One run will come in. It's a tie ball game. 5-5. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Here's Pudge Rodriguez. Deep drive. Left center. Get the fireworks out. Home run for Pudge, and it's over. So they blow the lead, but they come right back. Jesus Colome on the hill for Pudge. And the Rangers take this one 6-5. to five. Starting on 200 now, 201. That's Next it. 200. Juan Gonzalez, by the way, 3 for 4. First triple of the season. Pudge Rodriguez, the first career walk-off home run. And back to the highlights here on Baseball Tonight. We go to the Cubs and the Marlins. Don Baylor has Kerry Wood on the hill. Kevin Millar is batting. And he was using some... Uh, Heat to set things up, but had the break pitch working. He had the real nasty stuff going on. Well, he's thrown close to 100 miles an hour. Plus, it's really humid down there. I'm sure he felt great. Got the great breaking ball, low 80s, high 90s fastball. Very hard for the hitters to pick up. Ryan Dempster on the other side rips that through. Kerry Wood driving in a run. Hate to see that with the pitcher. One nothing Cubs. Bases loaded. Cliff Floyd. Dangerous man, but in the air, is it deep enough? Luis Castillo is on third. Do you send him? No outs, Rob. Do you send him? No, nah, not with Corey Patterson's arm. I don't nice. care how fast you are. Look at that. One hopper. Bye-bye. Nice. Very nice play. Earning that respect. Derek Lee. Nasty yes, man up. And oh, struck him out. That's two outs. Eric Owens is up next. 0-2, two, two outs, and the stuff is too nasty. Oh. Wild pitch. Castillo will now score. It's a go-ahead run. Or rather, one run, excuse me. So it's a 2-1 ball game. Two men later, two pitches later. Owens come back. Wood gets the play, so inning over. Wood goes six, five walks, though, five strikeouts, and gets it done. Cubs take this one, 6-2. And Kerry Wood has six solid innings. Came up a very rough start, Rob, so uh, Wood, a big part of this, you know, Cubs effort to try to at least, you know, have a glimpse of first place. How do you break him down? A half game lead on Montreal, the rubber match between Bobby Cox, Braves, and the Expos. Tony Armas Jr. against Vinny Castilla. Look at that, Jose Macias. Nice running grab. You love to have defense like that, and you can throw a lot more pitches and make guys put in play if you have confidence in your D. It's two outs in the fifth. Greg Maddox, typical Greg Maddox there, gets Michael Barrett. A 1 2 3 inning. Darren Bragg in the eighth in a 5 4 ball game. High chopper. TJ Tucker. Oh, no. Couldn't handle it. Bragg running hard all the way. Put a little pressure on him. It's an error. Two men later, Julio Franco drives this into the corner. I'm going to tie this ball game up. Both of these bullpens, you know, very good bullpens, but both get blown up a little bit here. Well, you know, coming in, Scott Stewart. He had only blown one save on the year, and the rest of the bullpen had blown nine, and you saw T.J. Tucker blow that save, so that's ten for the rest of the bullpen besides Stewart. After Vinny Castillo was hit by the pitch, Keith Lockhart is next with two outs, base hit. You have men on the corners. Next man up is Javi Lopez. Two outs, 5-5 five, five ball game. Rip that. No, oh, no. Tatis trying to handle it, trying to make some sort of effort to get the out. Doesn't work. And the Braves get the win. Greg Maddox goes six, gives up two earned runs. Maddox and Glavin are now winless in seven straight starts since winning combined game number 499. But the Braves do get the win. A bit of a duel here. It's a one nothing game. Randy Wolf facing Iron Mike Piazza with two men aboard. He got all of that. Three-run shot. Mets take a 3-1 lead. 
Jeff D'Amico on the other side of things. Here's Pat Burrell. Piazza, by the way, 18th in slugging in the National League. Burrell is 11th. He turned on that. 21st homer of the year for Pat Burrell. It's a 4-4 game. Top of the seventh, 6-4. Carlos Silva facing that man again. Larry Boa, he's not even watching. Look, Piazza. I can't watch it. <laughs> Piazza with two men aboard. Oh, oh, other way this time. That's yeah. his power stroke. You know, Brian, Lieberthal set up on the inner half, and he went away with that pitch right to Piazza's strength. A minute of 7-6 game, but Phillies give him credit. They battle right back. It should be Rollins' base hit. Phillies take the lead right back, 8-7. And Mets had a 7-6 lead after the three-run shot from Piazza. Bottom of the ninth, 8-7, one on, two outs. Piazza versus Jose Mesa. This is what it's all about. Stay with the heater, Jose. <laughs> Forget about the curveball. <laughs> Forget about the fanatic. Forget about Larry Boa. Larry seven. Bad Burrell, three for four, 21st homer. Hit two RBIs, two runs, 13 career home runs against New York. Outstanding game. Mo Vaughn, by the way, has five homers in his last seven games, one for three in this one. Brian Giles, this is in the first inning. Brian Giles, number six in the National League in slugging percentage. Puts that out right away off Ben Sheets, 20th homer of the year. 2-0 Pirates. And the other side, got Josh Fogg on the hill, Rob. Josh Fogg has been wonderful this year since coming over from the Chicago White Sox. He's got great breaking stuff. Here you're going to see the breaking ball. Get him a nice ground ball. Get him out of a jam. Starts the old 1-6-1 or 3-6-3 double play, all set up by the breaking ball ground ball. There in the fourth. Look at this. Alex Ochoa grounded into the double play. Good scoop. Kevin Young. And in the sixth inning, 2-1 ball game. Men on the corners, Alex Ochoa rips that. Brian Giles. Oh, he's a great player. Yeah, he's a great player offensively and defensively, but the internet people didn't vote for him. You blame those internet voters. Josh Fogg goes six, gives up just one earned run. Ben Sheets. Two away from the major league record. His first at bat against David Wells, and Tommy came in as a 185 career hitter against Wells. 2-0 count, third pitch, used that K zone, and from the outside part of the plate, and Tommy tried to pull it. Jim's now 0 for 1. Bottom of the second is 3-1 Yankees, a man on CC Sabathia. Oh, see what you have done. Alfonso Soriano, his 20th home run. He's the eighth different Yankee to go 20-20 in the first to homer off Sabathia in 38 and two-thirds. Look out. There's Tommy again. He has to hit the deck. 3-2 pitch. Wells worked him in. Wells worked him out. Tommy now 0 for 2. Top 5-5-4 five, five, Yanks. Tommy's third at bat. Full count from Wells. Gets it in the air, but not enough. And Tommy now 0 for 3. And he has one home run in 30 career at bats against David Wells in the seventh. In a 6-4 game, Yankees have the lead. Here comes Jim Tommy trying to hit a home run in his seventh consecutive game. Eight, as mentioned, is the major league record. 1-2 pitch. Check swing. Did he go? No, he did not. Count is full. A couple of pitches later, Jim Tomey logs on. Seven straight games. That is one shy of the major league record. Jim Tomey does it again. Take another peek at this again using the K-zone. Again, this pitch is away. Wells working him away, and this time, Tomey didn't try to pull it. He goes with it. It's an opposite field home run. Bottom of the seventh. 6-5 Yankees, two on, two outs. Raul Mondesi, Paul Shuey on to pitch. Travis Fryman, Travis Fryman. And again, I, I say don't do that, but it works again. I'm, I'm one of the ones who says that. Mondesi safe at first, bases loaded. Jorge Posada, who's made a living with the bases loaded this season. Now 6 of 11, 17 RBI with the bases loaded. Jeter scores, Bernie comes in to score. Posada the second on the throw. Yankees win it by a count of 11 to 8. Soriano has mentioned just the eighth different Yankee to go 20-20. Mantle's on that list. Ricky did it a couple of times. Yankees get out hit. It's just the fifth time this season in 32 games that they've won. Dame is an all-star and his at-bat in the third inning against Roy Halladay. Teammates call him Doc. Shows you why. Doc Halladay is nasty. And Damon, he spoils offerings. He takes pitches that are out of the strike zone. Pesky. Finally, an eight-pitch at-bat, and it's ball four. A microcosm here of what Damon can do for you. Gets on first, then he's going to take off for second. Ken Huckabee. Forced to make a bad throw, Damon gets up. He's dirty, but he's on third after the air. Hillebrand, Shea Hillebrand still at the dish. And Damon's off on contact. He comes in to score. That is manufacturing a run the hard way. We are tied at once.
Now top seven. Deuce is wild. We're tied at two. Two on, two out for Vernon Wells. John Burkett, who gave up ten hits, strikes out Wells looking. End of the threat. They moved out of the bottom of the eighth. Ricky Henderson. Did I say something about manufacturing a run? There goes Ricky. He gets conked in the arm. Ball heads out to left field. Ricky, he too is dirty. He too is on third base. Later in the eighth now. With two outs, Tony Clark, who's been anything but clutch, all of a sudden the series starting to bring him back to life. He is five for nine in the series. That two out hit gives the Sox a 3 2 lead. They add two more now in the top of the ninth. Blue Jays down 5 2. E Ugi Urbina on to shut the door. Carlos Delgado up with a man on. Delgado flies out deep. Got a lot of it, but not enough. Stays in the yard. Sox win 5 2. And they've won four in a row. Ugi Urbina has converted 19 saves in a row. Second. Get some more good defensive plays here. Paul Canerco up the middle. Damian Easley. Look at this play. Well, that's off the right foot right there. He's going up the middle towards shortstop. All arm strength. Now here in the sixth, Ryan Moeller strikes out the big hurt. Throwing through, but that ends the inning. Now Thomas, tough play. He saw the, the ball coming up high. The catcher had to come up. Las Diaz throws him out. It's a tough call to make. You very rarely see Frank Thomas argue, so if he didn't think it was a strike, probably right. Jose Valentin with a two-run shot. Suddenly it's a ball game. Makes it a 5-3 game in the bottom of the ninth. Carlos Lee is next. Crunch. Oh, yikes. Got some wood on that. It's a 5-4 ball game. Jose Paniagua comes on. Runners at the corners. Two outs. Kenny Lofton with the game on the line. Popped him up. And they hold on to get it. Brian Moeller, only his second start in two years, coming back from surgery. He went seven, didn't give up any runs.